Hello, welcome back. So in previous part, we have added products inside our store and we have already seen that how we can import and export our products. Okay, so now it's time to go to our home page. So go to pages, all pages and you can find this home page now. And uh, if you remember inside settings or inside reading, if we go then we have set our static page as home so that's why we are seeing here that this home page is set to as front page the landing page of our e-commerce store okay now we can go to here and edit it or we can simply go to our another website and we have to edit it with elementor and remember we have already installed this elementor inside our plugins so basically elementor is a mini software who is going to take care of our ui for home page about page and contact us pages okay so first of all you will see this kind of screen inside elementor so i have to go to my demo website and uh, in here we will add this hero section of our e-commerce store don't worry we will be adding this search bar and we will be adding our header bar later on and but we can't edit it inside elementor for now but we can edit it inside elementor which is this hero section okay we need to create this hero section go here and click on that plus sign so it will give you that column sizes basically you can create your own structure so we have to create this one column you can create two columns three columns and four and you can add all of these structures so for hero section i am going to add this column so it is added in here you will see this cross sign this plus sign and this settings and you can add different things inside here if you remember that in here i have two different columns first column is for this image and the second column is for this text here if i go to and edit it with elementor then you can go in here then you can see these are two different columns first column is for this image and second one is for this text so we have to go back in here we need to create two different columns structure and i have to select this one from here okay now you can see first column is for image and the second one is for our text so in here go and select this options we can select different widgets from here first widget that I'm going to select is for image select this and drop it in here okay so as soon as you drop your image in here the setting panel for this particular image is open okay so we have to choose image upload image select files and I'm going to select this one I'm going to provide all of these images in the videos and insert media okay now our image is added in here we can resize it so in order to resize this image we have to go to style then you can select the width of your image the height of your image and the maximum width and i'm going to select the width and i paste it as 70 i guess okay so as soon as you select the width there is nothing is happened in here so we have to select the maximum width for this particular image so select this and yeah, go to here and we can select this as well 86 and we can select the width and we can select the height so we can select as key and we will select the width with 70 and we can 
okay 86 i guess it's fine the maximum width and we can select it as okay 48 i guess it's fine okay now we have added our hero section image you can select different images you can style them you can select the opacity of your image i'm going to set it as one so opacity one means nothing to change you can select different css filters okay in here so i'm not going to add this filters in here you can select border radius but so we do not want that setting in here i think it's fine so you can select the hover over styles as well so we can select the opacity when we click on here you can see hover over effect but i'm going to give it one okay so i'm not going to give it any hover over effect so i'm not going to add any hover over and you can add hover over animation as well okay so when you click when you hover over on here you can add this animation there are a lot of different animations present okay so i'm going to add this scroll okay fine so now it's time to go to the right side of this hero section and add this one okay so in order to add we have to go and to add this row this row and this button row okay now go in here and we have to select text here so press in here and we have to write heading so we will add heading here we will format it later on and the heading is tcc grocery store okay copy and paste in here okay we will change the color later on so we need this heading as well so go in here and copy again heading and paste it in here and we will copy this by products and get the amazing discounts okay you can copy from here or you can copy from here as well okay go in here and select this and paste it in here okay okay nice time to add this button so press here and search for button and drag and drop this button in here okay so now it's time to go for styling first we will go in here and select this and click on this pen icon the first setting is we have to display at the center in alignment press this center so i need to select heading at one heading so that it will display in uh, full heading one size okay i want to add the margin so that it can display little bit below okay at the center of this screen okay so we need to select this column from here so it will display the column panel and go to advance and now we need to add padding for this particular column so i will going to unlink this whenever you add different padding it will apply the padding all over the screen all over the sides for example from bottom from left right and from top so i think it's good if we add padding all over again you can unlink them and you can add different padding in here for example i want to add different padding from bottom so i will add 98 from bottom so i will add 85 85 98 and 85 padding for this column okay now you have to select this and change the color go to style and change color okay you can select color from here you can see you can change this as well the opacity and i'm going to write the code and this code is matching our demo website so in order to go on the same page then i will provide you the text file for every color so i'm going to add first 
hero section and I'm going to add this color and I'm going to write here heading one I will provide this file to you okay so now go in here and select this and change the color go to style text color and you can change your color from here I'm going to add the code so that it can match your demo website okay now you can see if we go in here and if I open my website in another tab go and open in new tab then you can see if I refresh this then you can see the animated headings but for now you have to select this kind of font style so go in here and select this and open your typography and go to family and you can select different tiles okay and I'm going to select satisfy for this and the size is 67 I guess is fine okay okay now you can see if we go in here our text is little bit wider okay so by product and add is inside one line so in order to do that you can select the width of your column as well okay so I think it's fine or we can select here okay and you can add padding as well go to advanced and I'm going to add margin I'm going to unselect this and I'm going to add from top margin is 20 and the left margin is 20 I guess and I think we do not add this okay so it's fine so I think it's fine now move towards your button and first alignment is at center click on this and I have to add this code inside text file adding two okay now select this and go to styles so as soon as you click this you will have different stylings and inside content you can give the button link and you can select the text here so if we go in here the text is shop now and we'll give it shop now and if we go in here whenever we hover over this button the color is changed so go in here and select this and go to style and on hover over we will give the background color this okay now it's fine so I have to add here hover over button color okay okay now our button is added so we need to add a link in here in order to add link first of all we need to go in the tab and write your domain deck coding cam and we have to go to shop page forward slash and write shop and you can see this is our shop page or different products that we have added in the previous videos are here okay so this is the default view of wordpress of giving you and showing a different products inside shop page we will be editing it later on but first we need to copy this link and go to here click here go to content and inside the link we have to paste this link and update here okay now see what we have done till here so go in here remove this shop and forward slash and enter and now you can see this is our home page this is our button so we need to add animations on these two headings go in here click on this heading and go to styles and I have to go to advanced I guess so go in here and motion effects 
So in entrance animation, we need to add fading down. I think we haven't added our heading, so we click on this heading first and go to your motion effect and click in fading down. And same in the case of this heading, click on this first so that you can navigate to this particular panel of this particular heading. Go advance inside motion effects, fading down. So I have to remove this button from any animations. So remove this. Okay. So now update here and go to your site and refresh your page. So you can see if I refresh again, then it is overflowing here. So I need to restrict this heading to be animated in entrance level. Go here and first we have to click this and go to motion effects and remove this faded motion. Okay. Update. I just want to this particular heading to be animated. So go here and just this heading is going to be animated now. Okay. So if I go here and uh, inside here, I need to add this wave shape divider in here. Go back and go in Elementor and press this buttons globally. Okay. So this structure, press this and go to styles and go to shape divider and select the type and I'm going to select waves brush okay so you can see there's nothing happen in here so we need to select hide so we will add hide 152 but first we need to add color so that we can see so we will add color you can add color from here and I'm going to paste and you can select the color from here as well so I'm going to paste it here okay okay now you can see that it is overlapping to my image my image has some kind of white background so my image is overlapping to this particular shape divider so you have to go below and add bring it to front so now you can see it is now added at the front so we need to add height 152 and it is totally dependent on you how you're gonna display your particular shape divider but it is not looking so good I'm going to add width as well so I'm going to add width 100 here so I'm going to flip this so that it could display as it is so I'm going to add flip here okay okay now i'm going to add padding from top so click here as i'm already inside it so go inside advance and add padding add padding from top 20 and from bottom as well okay so this is the bottom it is written just underneath this so we'll add 20 from bottom as well so you can see our shape divider is added on top so we need to add shape divider from bottom as well go to shape divider and select bottom and type is the same waves brush and we need to select the color for this okay so i'm going to add color for I guess we'll write shape divider. Okay. So in here we need to add some height as well. And we'll add height here. And we will add here. Okay. I think it's fine. Okay. So again it's overlapping. So go in here, bring to front. Okay, our image is not looking good, so we have added here, so we need to add and recycle this column from here and select this. 
go into styles and go to typography and just move it from here. Okay, so now it's giving me some good aesthetic senses. Okay, now we have to update it and go in here and refresh your home page. Okay, now you can see our hero section is added in here. If we click on shop now, then it will navigate me to the shop page and we will be customizing it later on. Go back. Okay, let's have a quick break and then we will be adding our rest of things inside our home page. Okay, so let's have a quick break here.